Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin Forerunner 235 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. First thing we need to do is to turn on our watch. Then you can turn it on by pressing and holding the light button. Once you see the Garmin logo on the screen, you can release the button and wait until the watch turns on. And after it turns on, you will need to download and install the Garmin Connect application on the iPhone you want to pair your watch with. So, make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, open the uh, App Store on your iPhone. In the App Store, tap on Search and type in uh, Garmin Connect. On the list of applications, you should see the Garmin Connect app. Tap on it, then tap on the Get button to download and install the application. Okay, and once the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button to open it. And after the application opens, you will see this pop up on the screen about the Bluetooth, tap on allow, and then you should see the login page. If you don't have an account, tap on create account to make a new one. If you have an account, tap on sign in and login into an account. I already have an account, so I'm gonna tap on sign in, enter the email and password. But before that, before we log in, I'm gonna enter the pairing mode on our watch. And to do it, we need to go to our watch, uh, press the activity button to enter the uh, activity menu. Here you will see the option menu. And to enter it, we need to press the uh, down button right here. So press the down button to enter the menu. Then scroll through the menu by using the up and down buttons. Find the option called the settings, select it. And once you select settings, press the activity button to enter. Here, scroll through the menu, find the option called the uh, Bluetooth. Once you find it and select it, press the activity button. Then select pair mobile device, press the activity button and the watch will say ready to pair, which means that it entered the uh, pairing mode. Now we now we can log in into account on our, uh, in our app rather. Okay, and once you log in, the app should start searching for the nearby devices uh, automatically. If you see this pop-up about the notifications, you can allow the permission or deny it. This is useful if you want to use the notifications or rather receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch. As you can see, the app detected our watch. We can tap on connect it. And here we need to enter the code from our watch. Then tap on pair. Allow the ordinary the permission for notifications. Then tap on next. Here we can allow the permission for the location. This is useful if you want to get the weather uh, for the specific location and the for example, if you want to track the uh, progress of your cycle or uh, run or something like that on the map. So if you want to trace your route or something like that, this is what the location permission is for. So if you want to use it, tap on allow. If you don't care, you can tap on skip. Next, we have the calendar access. This is useful if you want to see and manage the events from your calendar on your watch. If you want to allow the access, tap on allow full calendar access and then tap on allow full access uh, or if you want to keep it denied tap on skip then tap next here tap on sync now finish and you should see the home page of the app now we can tap on more uh, garmin devices and here you should see your 4 runner 235. If you tap on it, it will open the device page for it. And that means that the devices are paired together. And that's how you pair this watch with the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.